So get in. Oh man, and another, another 2021 trail run it. We're wrapping up the 2021 shoes there. There's not many left. Maybe a couple more after this vlog publishes, but thanks for bearing with me. It's like so many shoes, so little time, as I'm always saying, the Hoka Mafate Speed 3, okay? Yeah, I love the colorway, I gotta say, Hoka. And uh, gosh, beautiful scenery out there. I hope you enjoyed that little intro. Actually, I am interested. So it is a neutral trail running shoe. There's the twist test off. Gotta, ugh, gotta hit the gym, gotta hit the gym. I mean, it is not twisting, not twisting at all. Okay, we're looking at a four millimeter drop, 36 in the heel, 32 in the forefoot. And on the scale in my size, little on the heavy side, okay, but it is a high stack height, so keep that in mind, 10.3 ounces in my size. And there is my score for the weight. It just uh, felt heavy, I gotta say, through the, be through the biomechanics, on the trails, um, just felt heavy to negotiate the tra the rocks and the roots out there. Upper, we're looking at a what they're calling their sustainable mesh upper. Not sure exactly what sustainable means, but sustainable mesh upper with KPU overlays. Okay, solid overlays there through the toe box. I gotta say, nailed it, nailed it, nailed it. Hoka, really comfy through the toe box. Love the overlay. Stout. I gotta remember. Remind me, for trail running shoe reviews, the toe cap, all right? This is the toe cap right there. It's critical, you know, when you're kicking rocks, kicking roots out there, hopefully you don't fall and trip like I did this past summer and caught it on the drone. So this toe cap um, is stout and it's solid. So if you kick a rock or a root, I think you're gonna be okay. I don't think you're gonna hurt your toes too, too bad out there. Uh, let's just remind ourselves, and yes, there is my lockdown score. Oh yeah, semi-gusseted tongue. I don't know how they're doing it, but they're finally hokey. You're nailing that, uh, that upper as far as how the tongue is laying on top of my foot and people's feet around there. I think I'm hearing a lot of feedback from folks that they love the, uh, the, upper, the uppers right now in Hoka Road and Trail Shoes, okay? And it is a stout heel counter. Overall score, seven out of 10. Um, gosh, let me just remind, yeah, okay. That's why the score isn't a little higher. It's average, but not a little higher for the overall is because it's a little, I don't know, that heel pocket is a little hard actually on the inside of the shoe, okay? I wish that was a little softer down there in the pocket. We're looking at a compression molded EVA, all right? The Mafate Speed 3 is designed to provide protective cushion while maintaining a responsive toe off for when you want to go faster. Now, mm, Okay, let's just remind, hold on, yeah. It does provide protection. I'm not sure I'm in the camp though that it is feeling really great through the toe off, through, let's say, pick up the paces, especially at that weight, all right? I'm not putting this in the a speed category or a race category, you know? I mean, who, what, uh, I'm gonna get myself in trouble. What did Tim Tollefson race UTMB in this year? Was it this guy? I vaguely remember that, but I don't want to get in trouble. If anybody knows, maybe if you have time to go look it up, Tim Tollefson, what did he race UTMB in? Uh, it might have been this shoe. If anybody raced, let's say, past 50 miles in this shoe, I'd be interested in 2021. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts below in the comments, all right? There's that overall score, outsole, EVA, rubberized EVA, and those Vibram uh, Mega Grip. It's intense. It's serious. But, okay. I don't know if it's overkill through the, the lug depth. I don't know what the lug depth is. Looking at it, it looks like five millimeters. I mean, it's a pretty serious outsole. I just don't know if it's 100% necessary to have that type of lug depth on this kind of shoe. Uh, with that kind of stack height, I would want a little leaner stack height for aggressive trails, okay? Because you don't want to be rolling an ankle out there when you're out on your adventures. And again, I'm putting it more into the training Category fit, true to size. Um, a little bit, of, again, back to that heel counter. Just a little bit of slipping there through the heel. Uh, I think they could put a little more padding in there. And I don't know, something's a little off there for me on that inside of the heel counter. Comfort, uh, I wish I could be better, man, but that midsole, it's just, it's not that forgiving. Now, I will say, maybe, there's, maybe Hoka is thinking, you know, you're gonna need 75 miles, 
maybe not 100, but to break the shoe in. It feels like that type of shoe. You're gonna be, have to be patient. Let it marinate a little bit, if you will, before you feel like the, the midsole is breathing a little bit under step. Positives and drawback. Positive is the toe box and the toe box material and the overall design of the toe box. I just love it there, Hoka. And that drawback is the midsole, all right? Durability prediction, we're going with 700 miles. Um, what was it, the Adidas uh, Terex Agravic Ultra, right? There's the name, Adidas Terex Ag Ag Agravic Ultra. I put at a thousand miles, which I'm basically calling a, a hiking boot, that shoe. This shoe is not a hiking boot, but it, uh, whew, it's like, whew, it's got a lot going on underneath your step. Like, I think it is just gonna need some time. Ugh, ugh to break in a little bit. All right, there you go, which is good for, you know, that's why I put the durability at nine, hundred, at nine out of 10. You know, some people want a really high durability so they don't have to buy shoes over and over and over again. If you know what I mean, how will I use this shoe? Who is it best for? Um, I, I said long run ultra training, okay? Just going out there, nothing fast on the trails, not aggressive trails. Like I wouldn't take this up, you know, 14ers personally, just a little too much midsole for me. But you know, rolling undulating hills for, you know, a 20 to 30 mile trail run. Yeah, there you go. That's how I would use this shoe moving forward. But ooh, the price point, $180. I'll confirm on the screen right now from Running Warehouse, if it's still at 180, I believe it is. That's a lot. Ah, four out of 10. I mean, it's just like, let's get it to 160 at least. 180, you know, it's just a lot. And, oh man, I, maybe they're thinking like, this truly is a racing shoe for longer distances. It's just a little too much. And who is it best for? I guess, you know, if you're a bigger runner, all right? Big, strong runner, you just need a little more shoe under step. I'm not a big, big guy, you know? So there you go. That's how, that's who this shoe might work better for. Other shoes to buy, very reminiscent to me to the Ultra Olympus 4. Not quite as heavy, but it just feels like that under step, the Ultra Olympus 4. All right, soak it in, the Hoka Mafate Speed 3. One more time for the shoe quick specs, 36, 32. Um, sustainable mesh upper midsole is CMEVA, okay? And that $180 price point and that relegation score. We're not taking it to 25 miles, with 2,500 feet of vertical gain is what you need for a trail shoe full review here within DGR, and it is, it's just not going there, all right? Not going there at all. Whoo, comment of the day, question of the day, Colin Baker, here we go. Um, Colin says, I haven't tried any of the 2020 models, but the Torrent V1 is my favorite Hoka of all time. I love the Torrent uh, 2, and I don't think I actually tested the one, so it sounds like it was good though. Grip is much better than I thought, and it feels much more responsive than most Hoka's, makes me want to try more ProFly midsole shoes. My only complaint was the lockdown of the upper. It usually feels fine at the start of a run, but after five miles or so, especially with some hills, it gets a little floppy. Uh, the V2 sounds like a real winner if it improves on that. There you go, Colin, onward and upward. Um, I think, yeah, that was being pulled from the um, that was being pulled from the Torrent V2 review, just so you know. Question of the day, it's been a very mild winter in Denver. At some point, we're just gonna get hammered. I know we are. I don't know when it's gonna happen, but what's the coldest you've ever been? All right, that's the question. I'm just thinking about winter. I guess I'm like yearning for a little bit of snow this winter. I don't, it's been a very, it's been too dry, frankly, here in Colorado, but um, what's the coldest you've ever been. You know what one of mine was? One of them, not all, not ever, but was filming UTMB this past winter, sorry, this past August. When we were up on the mountains, it was insane. Oh, it was so crazy. I'll try and get some footage for you. It was, if you, in case you're a new subscriber, thanks for subscribing. By the way, there you go. Hoka Mafate Speed 3 relegation review in the books. Oh, sorry, Hoka. Not today, Junior, not today. All right, we'll toss it to the trail running shoe matrix of 2021. In case you missed all the trail shoes from earlier in the summer, trail running shoe matrix of 2021. Right there, right there, right there. All right, let's go. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.